Here we're going to give you a Breeders Digest view of the first Triple Crown in 25 years and the first one ever on videotape. This, of course, was back on that first day in May and coming down the stretch, how were you feeling there? Oh, in the Derby? Yes, this is the Derby. I was just beginning to get scared then because it, it really looked as if we might have a chance and having done it last year, I was hopeful we would but scared that we would. Now he looks wonderful, doesn't he? Doesn't he, though? Yeah. And that settled a lot of questions and put a lot of rumors to rest, Lucian, didn't Yes, sir, it certainly has. There was nobody had no any excuse today. I think that the, the best horse won, and I, I think it's one of the greatest horses, believe me, that I've ever trained in my life. Look at him. There he was at the Derby when they put the roses on him, and uh, he, he'd like to go another 10 rounds, it looks like, there. <laughs> well, two weeks later, up in Baltimore, things were a little different. He decided to run a little differently up there, didn't he? You don't think I'm that happy. Look at the smile I had over there. <laughs> here in the Preakness, he starts out, and he's dead last coming down here to the clubhouse turn. Yes, I was in a worry, and then he wanted to run, actually, so when he went, like you see the movie, look where he is right now, and inside of an eighth of a mile, he wound up going on the lead. He were going slow and run. He used his own judgment, because I think he's a great rider. He's not even asking him to run. He's strictly going on his own, and then once he took the lead, he told me he was coaching all the way, never touch him, and just was on his own. And I thought it was the easiest race of his life. Coach today with the Belmont. <laughs> There's where he took the lead in the back stretch, and he held it all the way, and once again fought off Sham, who Pink Eye now is punishing coming down the stretch there, but to no avail, and he ran at least the second fastest frequency ever, didn't he? He ran two second fasters today, which it's, if the board is right, that's what they have on the board, and I think it's wonderful. And that, of course, brought us here to today, and uh, I don't think we can all put today in perspective yet, the way he just completely demolished the field here today with that beautiful stride, which you're watching here in slow motion. And you brought him here fit, Lucian, and he wanted to run and did run. This was still at the Preakness, where he got the, uh, the black-eyed Susan. But now he comes here to the Belmont, one doubt left, and here you are in the stretch run as he pulls away to ever-increasing margin of victory. 31 was the final. 31 lengths. Is that what he won by? 31, 31 lengths. Oh, I didn't hear that. Yes. That must, Woo! Be, that must oh. be the record, right? 25 by count fleet was. And this horse got 31 lengths. And the new record of 224, as you know. Thank you very much, Jack. Mrs. Carmichael, Dr. Chennery, thank you also very much for giving us such a marvelous animal as this and oh. playing it a share. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, that's right. <laughs> There it is, the ninth Triple Crown winner, 1973 Secretariat. So that's our 1973 Triple Crown. This is Jack Whitaker saying so long from Belmont Park in New York. The 105th running of the Belmont Stakes.